Welcome along guys, well, a lot of people have been asking where are the 690 videos shops? Well here's one, <laughs> the reason I've not been able to do any is because the bike has been due its first service I've done those 600 miles already and I had to get it to KTM to get that done, KTM UK KTM UK have been closed because of the dreaded C word so this bike's been run in for two months and I've just not been able to get the service done so today I'm using the Calimoto app I've done a long windy route to Silverstone dropped this bike off, leaving it with them and I'm riding away on something else so stick around I'll tell you a little bit about what I've found and how I've got on with this bike for those first 600 miles of running it in roll that intro Chopsy And then he said stick around and stay tuned. I've been watching too much of Mr. Flyer. I was up at 5.45 this morning. I want to try and get to KTM for about nine o'clock. It's around about a three hour route on the twisties, about 120 miles, but that is twisty roads, every back road, not one stretch of a road, hopefully. I've been going about an hour, hour and a bit, and uh, I've been absolutely loving it. I wanted to go up there. So how's she been? Any issues with those first 600 miles of having this bike? Well, I'm pleased to say none whatsoever. It's been absolutely faultless. I've discovered the odd false neutral occasionally. My old 701 used to do it. This does it. Doesn't seem to be any worse because of the quick shifter, but I think it is really a case of getting used to it. You've got to be precise and firm with the gear changes. I've only really found it between, I think it's between sort of fourth and fifth. It's done it a couple of times. Or well, it could be fifth and sixth, can't remember. Sorry, just trying to make sure I'm going the right way. It says I've got to go up here now. I thought it was a hotel. No. See, it's the sort of little lanes that will take you down. Perfect for one of these. Not so good if I'm on the H2. Bit of grit on the middle of the road. When you ride in these sorts of roads, they're yeah, so much fun. But they, uh, they do have their own hazards. Like grit in the middle of the road. Grit in the, uh, in the actual road sometimes. Cyclists, tractors, wildlife. But you won't see any coppers, which is a bonus. I love these sorts of little lines like this. <laughs> the front brake on this is so good, so powerful, so confidence is buying. And of course, the new 690 has all the electronics. So you've got cornering ABS and all that, which is absolutely amazing safety feature to have on a when you're riding roads like this come around a bend and there's a car coming for you a bit of ABS is uh, a bit of a godsend this has also got the Bridgestone S21s on it I thought the bikes we rode at the launch had the S22 but this has got the 21 I thought maybe they wouldn't be sticky enough because this is a fairly light bike uh, hang on which way I think it's saying right and now I'm stuck behind bloody John Lewis. Yeah, I thought the tyres wouldn't be sticky enough. I know the 701 has the Continental Conti attacks and they're a super sticky, super, you know, especially for super motos. And the whole time I had my 701, I never had any moments on that bike whatsoever. Sorry, Mr. Lewis, we've got to have you. And I must say, this has been exactly the same so far. No moments, no chicken strips left, and a beautifully handling machine. So, yeah, the S21, I think, is a good tyre. Turn left. Turn left, then turn left. Yeah, the reason I'm going these twisty routes to Silverstone is I didn't want to just sit on the motorway on this, because the, uh, 
the service is overdue. I didn't want to sit at like 70, 80 all the way up the motorway for two hours. That's not going to do it any good. So we thought we'd take it more easy on the engine and enjoy ourselves. I ain't got a clue. I've never been here before in my life. I do not know. I don't even know what county I'm in. <laughs> One thing I don't like, it's not all fantastic rosy tinted glasses. <laughs> Whoa! It's a bit rough there. The mirrors are terrible. <laughs> they seem like such an afterthought. You know, I keep knocking them and then they come undone on the on the on the splines and then they're waggling around. You need a, two spanners to tighten them back up. A couple of times that's happened. You just want to adjust them and they go and they and they move. You can sort of see what's behind you, but they're quite vibey. The bike, yeah, they don't look attractive. I don't know why they. Well, I was going to say why they can't do some sort of bar end mirror, but I suppose you have got the hand guards here. But you must better do something with a little bar end mirror. Much better setup. Comfort on the thing. The seat isn't overly comfortable. An hour on the bike, really. You need a little break. The good thing about these, it's a bit like the old adventure bikes. You know. You want to rest your bum, just stand up for a little while. Like that, just stand up and enjoy the view. Which way am I going? Straight on. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm loving this. I am absolutely loving this. Which I better watch my fuel situation. Woo! Blackbird nearly bit it. I can't remember when I last filled this bike up because it's so good on fuel. And I thought I would actually you know, I must pass a fuel station on the way. I thought when I just pass one, I'll fill her up. But uh, I haven't seen one. I've been going about an hour and 20. I've done about 60 miles. Road ahead closed. That wasn't me, was it? So the fuel light could come on at any second. And I've seen no petrol station for the last 60 miles. That's the sort of back road it's taken me. Road closed. Hmm. Which road? Woo, 30. 30 mile an hour speed limit. Bloody hell, feels like I've stopped. Follow the road for three miles. About three miles, she says. She's not absolutely sure. About three miles. Yadden Pagborn. I don't know. I don't know where I am. How many miles? Oh, I should arrive at 9.09, which would be about perfect, it's telling me. It's currently 7.38. What am I picking up though, you, you ask me? What are you collecting from KTM stroke Husqvarna UK? <laughs> Little clue there. It's not the Super Duke, it's not the 1290. That is coming in a couple of weeks. When the bike I'm collecting now goes back, I ride away on the new Super Duke 3 for 10 days. Very excited about that bike. I think that is gonna be the naked to have this year. I think the uh, the street, I haven't ridden it yet, but I think the Ducati Street Fight is going to be all top. The reviews I've seen from the 44 Teeth guys and others, it's all top end. It's, you know, it's very much the Panigale engine without any fairing on. They've done a bit of work, you know, we've got a little bit more torque and stuff. Geared it differently, obviously, but it's not got that mental torque. And I think that, as I say, as always, I think it's the torque which makes a fantastic road bike. So I really do think, without trying any of them, my head, the paperwork, says the Super Duke 3 will be the better road bike. We will see. I will be trying the ZH2 as well, which I've also heard fantastic things about. But it looks, it, it looks bloody awful. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a very, very good bike. So we'll try that as well. But my head's telling me, or my heart telling me, I'm not sure which one. It could be my heart's telling me the Super Duke will be the one to have. So I'm very excited about collecting that. And I'll bring you a, a couple, at least, or I'll bring you a few videos on that. Because for me, that, that's, that's the bike I'm most looking forward to riding this year. And I've got to go right up here try and touch the mirror without it going mental there we go right here 
Newbury district. So we're around Newbury area by the look of it. Don't know any of those places apart from Newbury. Yatterden. Never heard of it. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Changes direction so quickly. So nimble. That's what I love about supermotors. They're so light. So nimble. I mean, even though this is you know, 145 kilos dry, it's not, you know, 500 EXC weight. But riding with the boys with the with the two-stroke, converted two-strokes, you know what? It doesn't do bad, you know. It's faster. It is faster. These are quick. 74 brake. These are quick. But it's not quite as nimble as the little little converted enduros but it's not bad you know oh look at this wow where are we now under looks posh looks posh around here there's locks tell me where we are guys because <laughs> i don't know another thing which is great with this is it comes with a usb charger just on the front here i mean that's great isn't it? you wouldn't think this was the sort of bike this is a bike which is doesn't even have a rev counter. You know, it's very simple, but it's got a USB charger. Got a lot of time for that, so that's got my phone plugged in. I could have a camera plugged in as well, all fed from a standard charger. I like that KTM. I like that. So not only is she a hooligan, she's also practical. Look at that, the poppies. Very, very pretty. Didcot, Oxford Henley. Oh, we're not even at Oxford yet. Got another hour, 10 minutes yet. Straight over. That's overloaded, mate. The fuel light has just come on. I do need a garage now. Find me a petrol station. This one very close, three minutes away. That's Andy. Let's go and fill her up. Yeah, fuel goes in the back. No dramas really. Easy to use little fuel cap. We go standard. Standard. Let's see how much she takes. Oh, she was thirsty. 10 litres, just over 10 litres. So I had a couple of litres left in the reserve. So it's 12 litres, 12 and a half litres, I think it is. But yeah, it's easy to fill, no dramas there. I will reset my trip actually now. Well, according to the app, we are 15 minutes away now. I've not been on the main road all day. I left about 10 past six. It is now six minutes past nine. I've nearly been on the bike for three hours. I think it was 117 miles this was going to be in total. And I'm actually pretty fresh. It's been 100 miles of twisty <laughs> B roads like this. And uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty fresh. I could go on much longer. I'm really surprised. I've only stopped to get fuel and missed the odd turning We're down here. Kelly Moto, you need to speak up, dear. Yeah, it's, it's surprisingly comfortable, actually. They do do an ergo seat for this, which is a more comfy power part seat. I did try and get hold of one, but um, I'm surprised I've been okay on this ride. I really thought I'd be struggling by now, but there we go. It just goes to show you can actually do a few miles on this. That's a hundred and a hundred miles of twisties dispatched with in three hours. What's that dog doing? Jesus, love. How many miles she got now? 734 miles. Ooh. It's 130 miles over the run-in. You naughty boy, Chopsy. Those run-in oils are normally good for a thousand miles, though. And some bikes, you have to run them in for a thousand miles, don't you? So I don't think it's too much of a problem. Do. Trail the rear brake. Oh, she's lovely on the twisties. A lovely handling machine. 
very impressed with the Calimoto app actually. I've not even got the premium one, I've just got the free one. I know a few people have been going on about this. I know they, they sponsor Bruce's channel, I know Richie's been using it. But it's got me all the way from Portsmouth area to Silverstone without going on any or hardly any A roads, not alone motorways. It's been 80% roads like this all the way. It's incredible. You never could do that. You could never do that on your own, trying to navigate yourself. It, it's, you know, it's brilliant. I could probably do a route to Scotland <laughs> just on the lanes. That would be amazing. So yeah, pretty impressed with that. It's worth looking at. That's some grandstands. Yeah, we're here. We're here, Silverstone. Made it. 100% back roads. Well, 80% back roads. Unbelievable. Silverstone. We're here. So when I pick this up, she'll be fully serviced. She will have the beautiful Akropovich on it. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you then, guys. If you stick around till after the credits, I'll show you what boy come on. Speech later, guys. Oh, look at her. <laughs> what a beauty. This is power level one, which is full power. It's bad, boy. What has she done here? I told you I'm scared about that. Whoa! I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Whoa! <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> Listen to me. Never mind getting beat up. Give me this any day of the week. <laughs> Here she is, the next little review bike. It's the 701 Enduro LR. The one with the massive great big donglies. <laughs> 25 litre range on this bike. 25 litres on this bike. You've got the normal 12 litres at the back. You've got another uh, 13 litres at the front. <laughs> I reckon 500 kilometres range. I'm going to fill it up. We're going to test that. But that will be another day.